Hi, my name is Bailey McCrowey. I am a part of the Build Sub team, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about what our robot does right now. So I'll start with the drivetrain. This year we switched to tank, where instead of using mechanism wheels, we have more speed and stability, but we can no longer be pushed around on the field. And on the drive team this year, we implemented shifting gearboxes, which allow us to switch between a high and a low gear, one of which will be more for speed and running cycles across the field, and the other will be more for defense or pushing robots, so that way we can do the pushing around this year instead of getting pushed. As of right now, our robot is able to shoot into the amp and into the speaker, um, it can shoot into the speaker from the max distance away, and it can also shoot from the closest up position, and it can go anywhere in between as well. Um, for the amp, we are able to basically shoot it really slowly into the deflector, and it deflects into the amp, which scores us our point, which is good. And then right now we're working on making sure being able to hang on the chain is functional and can work. And then after that, we just have minor tweaking to do. I'm Katie, this is Roy Smith. He'll be talking about the intake today, or the future one, per se. So. It's gonna, the disc is gonna go in the top, or the nose, sorry. It's gonna go in the top of the robot and slide into the tray, and it will get pushed out. I don't think we have plans for ground pickup yet. Uh, this is Sophie, she'll explain the shooter, so how does it work? Um, the shooter can intake from the player station and can also shoot into the speaker and into the amp consistently. Oh, thank you. Coach Andrew, he'll be t talking about his first day as his first year as a mentor. So, do you want to answer that right now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, I, I have a, a background in, in fabrication and metalwork, and uh, my oldest daughter, Sophie, uh, wanted to join the robotics team. And uh, when I was talking with uh, Coach Darwin, he was saying that there was definitely a need for more mentors to assist with building. So, um, I have free time right now with uh, where my job's at, so I was able to uh, dedicate a lot of time and have a lot of fun working with some young people and teaching them some uh, important life skills. Oh, so how does it feel to work with your daughter in build? Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's interesting to see her developing uh, different skill sets and how she interacts with the other students, uh, as well as, you know, quenching that thirst for knowledge that she has and getting to actually see it in practice. All right, thank you. This is Oliver, and what parts have you programmed so far? I have programmed um, the limelight for the robot. So the limelight is a camera powered by a Raspberry Pi, and it can follow and detect April tags. And we can feed that position data into the robot so it knows exactly where it is on the field and what it is looking at. This is Luke. Um, what are you planning as a cast member? What are you planning on um, the robot doing? So, when I was designing the robot, I was really hoping uh, for quickness in human player cycles. So we've got a little shoot for the nose to go through really quickly, and uh, fast chassis so we can get across the field quickly, grab the note, and come back as fast as we can. Um, we didn't prioritize floor intake off the bat. That's something I'm hoping we can do We can do in the next few weeks up to our competition. Um, I know we did some testing the other day and we can shoot from pretty far away, kind of from the max distance of uh, the middle of the field. Uh, if we can shoot from different angles and kind of customize where we can shoot from, that'll uh, allow for some variability and getting out of other robots' ways. Uh, we kind of figured out that we can also shoot the amp very conveniently from our shooter that can also shoot the speaker. Uh, so, and then we're going to use the same mechanism to climb. So hopefully everything. Alright, so how did you get the inspo for your design? So there's a lot of things. Uh, the robot in three days with college is amazing. I love watching those videos. Uh, and then it's a lot of talking to my mentors, talking to my peers and my teammates. I don't know, what do we want to prioritize? How would we go about that? And it's a lot of uh, what I figured out, trial and error, I design one thing, doesn't work, try it again with something different, doesn't work, make a whole new design, 
Uh, the big thing, like I said, is trial and error, and talking to your teammates about it. Okay, thank you.